this guy here. That's the RB17. And I was like, this looks like a nice radio. And I bought a set of two for a really, really smoking good deal. And they show up and they're fantastic. Like this is a very heavy duty radio. It looks like the Pro Motorola's or something you might buy for 350 bucks. You know, it's got a decent, really nice push to talk button on it. It's got nice knobs that are great on the top. So, you know, you don't necessarily push, change channels very easily. It's, it's got 16 channels, like most all the, most of these radio videos have, other than the valve thing. And you know, it's got a huge battery. The battery is like 4,600 milliamp hours or something like that. I mean, it's, and they're rechargeable with USB-C, and it comes with a dual USB-C 2 to 1 cable for the pair. Yeah, what's the, uh, yeah, 4,400 milliamp hours in the battery. So, today is Wednesday, so not this past Monday, the Monday before, so a week and a half, I've been running the other one of these as my daily driver on the university campus. I haven't had to charge it yet. So I run it every day, and it still hasn't said low battery. So the battery, you know, on these is humongous. So... I'm going to back up a little bit. When I bought these, I couldn't program them any more than changing the FRS frequencies they come programmed with to turn off the CTCSS tones off or on that were pre-programmed with these, which is something that Redifus has been doing. And people have been talking about that a lot, that if you want to use these with other FRS radios, you got to go to the programming software and turn all those tones off. So... I got the radios, I was like, these are fantastically wicked, but why won't they program? So they're locked to FRS frequencies, which if you've got a legit license for something, you want to be able to put that frequency in there. Because a lot, you know, like the, the bar that I supply these other radios to, they, have, they pay for the license for their frequency and, and tones and all that stuff. And of course, university does as well. They have, they have a repeater and they also have a secondary channel which they pay license for so you know that's great but it's like well how can i use this for that legit purpose and i'm like well let's do a little bit of digging and i went to the red earth website and you can program these with chirp you know it's it's the open source program radio programming chirp that you can program them but it won't it says you can change the frequency but if you write to it and then you go click on it they don't they don't stick you can, all you change is those tones so let's go into the software specifically for the rb17 and show you how that works now as you can see you can't you can you can't change those frequencies but you can change the tones which of course you would have to do if you want to use these with your regular frs radios so you go to turn all these off turn those off you can change the power to high or low I believe it's about two watts at high and about a half watt at low. You can turn, you can just scramble. You don't need to scramble anything. Uh, the busy lock, I think you can turn that on or off, of course. So it's not much to it other than that. You can turn the beep off, the battery save off. I don't know why you'd ever need to do that or that. So that's all you can do with the programming software. Now, here's where we get... Um, a little slicker. So I contact Redivis and say, listen, I would like to program these radios with particular frequencies. Can you help me? So I go and they send me an email off and that's about 9 o'clock in the morning and about 9 o'clock at night because they're 12 hours opposite of us and I get a wonderful email from someone at Redivis say, oh, here you go. Hope this helps out and they send me a a bunch of software so they sent me the rb17 software they also sent me rb617 software and because i had seen somewhere in a youtube video that was in french on how to make these frequency agile and, and change those frequencies but you couldn't do it with the software you download directly from the redivis website with the rb17 software it wouldn't work because i kind of had to figure it out ahead of time anyway so 
what I ended up thinking of, I was like, okay, let's go into the program files. So here, let's go into... Alright, let's see if we can go here. So here's my main Windows C drive. Go to my program files to see where my actual app was. The RB17 to see all the information. It's like maybe there's a setup file or something I can edit to kind of get in there and uh, modify it so it maybe it allow me to do something. I'm like, yeah, maybe that's possible. So I got into the setup file and I'm like, well, that's not going to do it. <clears throat> I didn't even think at the time. I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that setup setting file there. Didn't really notice it. So I went on YouTube, and there's only one video, and it's, you got to search for, I don't know, 20 minutes to find it. <clears throat> and the guy in French explains how to do this process. And, you know, me being in Canada, I can understand a bit of French because you learn it in school, so I, I kind of get the gist of what he's saying. And it shows on the video, but it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Second, he, sh he clicked on this, I was like, I know where I'm going with this. So anyway, if you go in here, you click on the setting dot i and i file i'm like aha light bulb goes off i'm like okay here's all the settings for this piece of software you say the language is oh there's a password and there's a test password to get it i don't know what the test password does maybe someday i'll find out but anyway for this video doesn't really matter but if you look it says power one language equals one Test mode equals one. <clears throat> All this stuff. And you look down here. It says frequency enable. I'm like, aha. Light bulb goes off. Bing, bing, bing. So first of all, I'm thinking, okay, I can just edit with a notepad. Because I'm already in notepad. So if we go here. I'm like, well. Frequency enable. Miss, change it to zero. See what happens. And if you go and try and save it, you can do that. All files, just kind of click setting and then you can save it. Do you want to replace it? Yes. But here's the thing. It says, I do not have permission to change this file because I need to be in min to do that. So I don't have a min access to this file. Great. Okay. But then I realized, wait a minute. I know what to do with this. So I go and get Notepad++. Plus plus. So we're going to change to the version of the software that Redivis sent me. This is the actual version from the Redivis website, which we can't do this process with. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here, go down the main drive, root directory, program files, x86, rd617. I'm going to offer up the link to download this version of the software so you can do this yourself. And here you go, here's the same file. So what you need is Notepad++. So you say, so we'll go, you can, I'm sure you can download this and install it, it's not very hard. I'll see if I can put the link in the description down below. Anyway, so we go edit with Notepad++. Here you go, frequency enable. Erase that, turn a 1 to a 0. Now we go up to the file. We say save. And it says, do you want to launch Notepad in administrator mode? You say yes. Now, you've only put it in administrator mode. You haven't saved the file. Now you got to go actually say save the file. Now if you look, you can't press save again. You've already saved it. So all you got to do now is when you go into the RB 617, which is now on a desktop, of course, as well, because we install it. And we go here, and now, look, you can edit the frequencies. Awesome sauce. Wicked. Okay, here's, here's great, but oh crap, I can't read none of this. So here's how you change it to English. The second one from the right, go in one on the menus here, Click down, go to the bottom one, change language 
to English. This is okay. There, now it's in English. You can read it. Well, there it is. We've managed to make this radio completely programmable. So you can program it to whatever frequency you like, or you can program it to a repeater. Which, for a lot of people, that's an important thing. Especially, you know, down if you want to use it in the United States on a GMRS repeater, which a lot of people do, I mean, that's something that's it's a legit use. Or, like I said, for legit license, now I can use this on a legit license because I couldn't program it before, now I can. And, of course, this has been one of my daily drivers. So I use it every day now. So it's a... It's a wonderful radio. It's well built. I say it's good. the battery life is amazing. Right down to the little door for the mic and programming cable, it's actually a door with a hinge. I mean, that's great because you don't just snap it off when you plug a mic in, you know, and plug it in your belt and then plug the shoulder mic on. It's just a great all around simple radio, durable radio. Amazing. Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And again, we'll see you on the next one. Rock on.